What's up guys, in this video we will take a closer look at the battle mat and the batty Q so that you can begin your battle against the foes of Daylor. So, let's begin with the initiative meter. We've already learned quite a bit in previous videos. We know that it shows turn order, and we know that higher initiatives go first, while lower go later. The initiative meter also tracks the rounds with this round die. The round die goes from 1 to 5, and after that, fatigue. Let's actually set up an example. First, the Gearlock's initiative dice will be rolled. Both Patches and Tink rolled an initiative of 3. In contrast, they will battle against the Bog Frog. He has an initiative of 3, and the Goblin Sandbagger, who has an initiative of 4. The round die goes to the top and starts with round 1. The Goblin has the highest initiative, so it goes first. Whenever there is a time between initiatives, the party chooses who goes where in turn order. Patches, Tink, and the Bog Frog each had 3, so the party chose their order. Once a round is over, the round die switches to the next. Rounds end once all units in the initiative meter have taken their turn. After round 5, fatigue sets in, and each unit on the battle mat lose 1 HP at the beginning of each round. As the battle rages on, enemies and gearlocks may join the battle. Any gearlock, tyrant, or 20 point batty that joins the fray will have their initiative die placed at the top of the meter. Any 1 or 5 point baddie that joins the battle will have their initiative die placed at the bottom of the meter. Let's take a look at the starting baddie positions. Baddies use the colored positions on the battle mat. Ranged characters are placed further back, and melee characters are placed on the cross swords marked spots. When a baddie enters the battle mat, they will enter a lane. The first baddie in the queue will enter lane 1, the second lane 2, and so on. The Bog Frog, a melee unit, was the first drawn from the queue, so it takes lane 1, and that lane's marker chip. The Goblin Sandbagger, a ranged unit, was drawn second from the queue, so it takes lane marker 2, and that lane's marker chip. The Gearlocks, on the other hand, begin on the gray positions. Let's take a little look-see at Tink. Since Tink is awesome, he is a melee ranged unit. This means that he can start on either melee or ranged positions. He is unable to attack unless he is adjacent to a baddie though, unless he is using one of his skill die. Patches on the other hand is a melee unit, so he must start on one of the four melee positions. While on the battle mat, units may only move to position adjacent to them. Units cannot move through other units. We will now look at setting up battle. In too many bones you will face encounters. Most of these encounters will force you into combat. You will know whether or not there will be combat by looking at the choices. Any choices with this symbol ends in combat. In order to battle, we must set up the battle queue. The battle queue contains the baddies you will encounter. The queue is determined by the number of baddie points, and the number of baddie points is determined by two factors, the current day and the number of gear locks in the party. In this example, it is day four, and we have two gear locks in our party. The numbers are multiplied, and that is the number of baddie points for the baddie Q. In this example, 4 times 2 is 8 baddie points. Next step is to draw baddies using the highest baddie point chip possible. In this case, we will draw one 5 point baddie and three 1 point baddies. If we're on day 5 with two gear locks, it'd be 10 baddie points, so we would draw two 5 point baddies instead. To assemble the Q, we would grab the three 1 point baddies from the top of their stack, then place the 5 point baddie on top. Higher point baddies are always placed on top. As baddies are positioned on the baddie mat, the first drawn will take lane 1, the second, lane 2, and so on. There will be some cases where there are leftover baddies in the queue after lanes 1 through 4 have been filled. These join the battle once there are fewer than 4 baddies on the mat, but only after the round is over. Some encounters adjust the baddie queue. For example, this encounter has the players add a 20 point baddie on top of the battle queue. And that's it for the battle mat and the battle queue. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. In the next video, we will go through the rules of battle, though we may have a brief intermission.